I'm Pai Vierola, a Finnish artist, and this time we'll draw a magical crystal ball. I chose this topic to celebrate my upcoming glass magical inkdom, where we draw cats, witches, fairies, wings, bunnies, elaborate dresses, circus horses, and all the fun, magical, fancy stuff. And I thought that this kind of crystal ball could be a small introductory project. What's inside the ball? That's up to you. Here I have trees and here I have flowers, but I will show you how to make the ball glowing and how to enjoy drawing without any references. Let's look at the structure of the crystal ball first. So I have a ball here and then I also have the base. If you want to draw the base, let's start by setting that with a line. I'm using Copic Multiliner 0.1. So it's quite thin tip. And I start by drawing a dashed line here quite near the bottom edge. And then I have a template for the balls. So I set this circle so that it goes a bit below the dashed line. And then I draw the circle. Next, we draw all the reflections. So I'm drawing shapes that are round and follow the shape of the ball. And I try to make these shapes quite different in size and a bit different too. And I start with the outer circle and I work towards the center. I'm drawing with a wavy or dashed line so that it's like a sketch. Some of these shapes can be very small, tiny, and then there could be a big one near the center and it can be a bit off the center. And then you can also add these small reflections. So now I have filled the ball and then I can start drawing what's there inside the ball. But let's set the base first. It can be somewhere here where the ball meets the dashed line. And I make the top line of the base a bit less deep than the ball. And the same with the bottom line. This way it looks like the ball has been glued or set there. That there's a hole where the ball fits. So there's the base. And now I have all the reflections and then the actual ball. And now I can draw things that are inside the ball. Here I've drawn some trees. Now I draw flowers. I need to draw so that they go behind these reflections. So some of the flowers are barely seen and some are smaller and in places where there are not so many reflections. So they can show almost fully. Then all the edges of the ball leave them without any elements. I also add some stems to the flowers and I can also add leaves, of course. And now when I have all the elements here, I start darkening the areas that are not reflection or flowers or stems, the areas between all of these. And I use parallel lines so that these areas become slightly darker. The lines can go to different directions, it doesn't matter. And then I add 
another layer so that the flowers get darker too. So now I'm adding a second layer of lines to the areas that are in the background so they get darker at the same time but the reflections are still white. shadow around the flowers so that they get clearer. And now you see better where the flowers are. These small circles can be like they are, but these bigger reflections, the outline could be a bit more vague and these could look a bit like stars. So I'm adding some lines here so that they are like small triangles and also these two. And then these that are not so circular, oh, I have one circle still, add some there too, one small star. I just shadow these so that the outline is not so sharp. And then I add short lines around the outline of the ball. Let's look at the shape of the ball. Here I've made this part of the ball a bit darker and then this part of the ball a bit lighter. You could think about the areas around the ball so that you would have a darker, medium and then very pale and then maybe a bit lighter than medium tone. So let's change the lighting so that this doesn't look like a flat circle. So I'm adding darker shadows here on the bottom. And also the areas between the reflections can be very dark here. And the reflections can have darker areas too. Then this right part of the ball can be fairly dark too. And then this top of the ball can be quite pale. And there can also be some spots there on the top. So I just shadowed some lines there very lightly. And then this part of the ball can be lighter. I noticed that I have one reflection that I hadn't treated. And then the small reflections, the very small circles. Let's shadow a bit around them so that they show better. And some might be lost while you've shadowed, but uh, you can make new ones if you can't find the old ones. Just pick a pale area there and shadow around it. And then the base. The edges of the base are really dark. Now when I'm darkening the edges, I also make them so that they're really black near the outline and then they get paler when I get further away from the outline. 
we can also adjust the design of the base so here I've made a small like a carved line I darken parts of the base so that I can get these closed Now we need bitch black and you can work with the same pen through this process but because it's faster I use Copic Multiliner BS which is a small brush pen and I use this so that I can get pitch black in some places so near the base then near some flowers I also add some in some parts of the small reflections I also add some to the bottom of the base I change back the thin pen and uh, I make some flowers a bit more detailed and at the same time I also soften these dark areas that I just added so that they blend with the rest of the background Also add a bit more shadows around the reflection so that they look soft and blurry but I leave the center white Let's color the ball and the color makes it more shiny and if you look at this ball it uses quite a lot of one color which is just green so let's pick one color and color the ball and the base and everything with that color I choose pink this time and when coloring you can leave the palest part white like this this and this, the stars Now you can change or mix another color and I take blue purple and I now paint around the areas that are very dark. I soften these colored areas so that they are not clearly outlined but soft and blurry. Now I take ultramarine blue, so I add some more color variation here.
and then the base I add the same pink or purple there too because this light that comes from the ball is so strong that it colors the base but I will also add brown here when I added brown to the base there are some reflections on the ball that come from the base too now this reflection that you see there that comes from water I'm not that skillful. <laughs> I wish I could catch that there. Always when painting these kind of magical themes, isn't it amazing how reality is even more magical than what we can draw and what we can imagine or visualize? I use now black watercolour to make sure that all the black areas have blurry edges. I think my ball is finished now and uh, to make it a collage piece I will cut it out after it's dry. I store these kind of treasures in the in a box that I call a box of joy so maybe you want to have your box of joy to drawing all kinds of luxurious magical glowing things and uh, enjoy playing with them and making art from them. Sometimes the best treasures are not something that you bought or something that somebody else has made to you but something that you have made yourself. And I hope this video will inspire you to create these treasures. Mm -hmm.